I'm going back to college in f the fall to SEF. Um, hopefully I'll find some kind of job because I'm an adult now and, you know, I've never really had a job. So it's kind of weird because I've had friends who were like 14 and had jobs then and I never did. But um, other than that, I really don't know. <laughs> I just turned 18. I don't want to plan out my entire life. Um, I took advanced drawing and advanced design. I also took psychology. Uh, the drawing classes were really fun. I have some artwork still that I'm planning to hang up. I don't know, I think it looks really cool. You get to use all this cool media and stuff. And the psychology class was really interesting because I've never taken something like that before. And I learned a lot in it. Oh, that picture? Um, that was my profile picture on Facebook. And Staples had a deal where uh, large posters were $10. So I just made that in Photoshop and printed it out. And there's really no meaning behind it. I just kind of thought it'd be cool to have a giant picture of my face in my room. I didn't really actually feel transgender uh, as a child growing up. Like, when I was eight, I felt like a normal girl and everything. I really didn't care. It wasn't until uh, I was 12 years old and I hit puberty that I started to feel different and something just didn't feel right. I always wore like um, Hawaiian shirts and stuff to kind of hide my body to keep it as neutral as possible and I didn't know why I felt uncomfortable because everybody else was wearing like short shirts and you know all that stuff like you know 13 year olds and stuff um, and I got made fun of for that for being a tomboy and I didn't really care because I thought it would pass and people would stop making fun of me and I wouldn't feel that bad about myself in a few years. Uh, yeah, in about seventh grade I was bullied and teased a lot but that wasn't because of being transgender, it's just because I was different because I didn't even know I was transgender back then and people threw gum in my hair and spit on me and threatened to kill me but that's only because I was different. When you say different, what do you, what did, what do you mean? Well, I just, I, they could tell that there was something odd about me. Like, I could tell that something wasn't right, but nobody knew what it was. And I guess to them, it was confusing and scary in some sort of way. So they wanted to make me feel bad about it. When I went to uh, my high school, it, it's in a different city. So I kind of got a fresh start because there was new people there. And uh, I just straight up came out as transgender and told everybody that I was trans and I was not comfortable with she pronouns or anything and everybody was really supportive and it was nothing like middle school everybody was like wow that's great you know I've never met a transgender yeah, I'm really comfortable answering any questions I want to educate people I don't want to hide it I don't want to seem make it seem like being transgender is something people don't talk about because I think it's important and people should know